How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you every single Titan weapon in Titanfall and that's all primaries and ordnance as well. So I'm going to start with primaries and the 40mm cannon which is definitely the most all round gun in the game. It's really good actually from range and up close and it just has really really high damage. So as long as you're accurate you're going to do a lot of damage with this thing and take down a lot of Titans. It's a little bit harder for taking down infantry but if you're really accurate you're not going to find it too much trouble and there is quite a good blast radius as well. It's probably the most boring Titan weapon but definitely the most effective overall so definitely try it out and let me know what you think next we've got the quad rockets which are really good up close not very good from range and not that good for taking out titans either but if you want to take down loads of infantry it's really good and this will probably be the gun for you it is a lot of fun to use as well so definitely try it out and let me know what you think it can be used for taking down titans but you really need some other people to help you as it isn't that accurate and from any kind of range you're just going to miss the target So next up is the XO-16 chain gun and this is the most standard weapon in the game. If you're a beginner you're going to want to use this because it's really easy to stay on target and it has quite good damage but definitely nowhere near as good damage as some of the higher level guns. This gun's equally good for taking out infantry and titans so it really is a good gun to start with but if you do stick with this gun for the whole game you are kind of selling yourself short because you really can't get that much damage out compared to a lot of the other weapons. If you disagree with me though and you really like this chain gun then let me know in the comments section below. And I'm now going to be moving on to the plasma railgun which is actually my least favorite of all of the guns it is really difficult to use and it's only really good from range i do think though if you got instant shot for this gun it could make it a lot better what that actually does is means you don't need to charge and you have full damage for every little burst that you have but at the same time the damage will be decreased so you're not going to be able to get as much of the hit as before this would be good on last man standing though if there's a lot of you in a team you can take down titans from far next up is the art cannon and i actually really like this gun it's exactly like the wonder waffer from cod zombies so basically really really good for taking out infantry but the arc cannon doesn't just chain off infantry if you hit a titan or a turret like this it's going to chain off that object and then onto the enemy as well so definitely really useful you can inflict a lot of damage if you do get a full charge but it's really hard unless you've actually got rid of their shields if they've got shields up you're not really going to make any dent into them whatsoever but like i said before this is just really fun for taking out infantry so let me know what you think about the arc cannon in the comments section below so it's one of the most fun guns to use but definitely not the most efficient next up we've got the triple threat and this is the last primary weapon it is really good it's a massive grenade launcher that shoots three at a time you need to employ a slightly different play style to get the most out of the triple threat a little bit more defensive is the way this gun works so basically if you sit back and just chuck loads of grenades in the area you're going to dominate your opponent and you can see it takes down titans really really quickly i think it takes down titans quicker than anything else and this gun is actually really good on hard point because you can keep chucking them into those areas whilst not getting yourself in any trouble at all so as you can see there i just fled away from that dude and then chuck loads of grenades into the area and it demolishes him pretty much instantly not so good against infantry but if you're accurate you can kill them as well so now we're moving on to ordnance and the first one is the rocket salvo it's really standard to be honest just a bunch of rockets that go towards your enemy they're not guided and they don't do that much damage but they're good enough when you're starting out So next up are the slaved warheads. What you need to do is actually lock onto your target each time to use them and you have a little bit more damage than the previous ones, the rocket salvo. Unlike the primary unlocks, the ordnance unlocks do really get a lot better as you get through the game. And now we're onto the cluster missiles, which are probably the most powerful of all of them. The only thing is that you can't actually target your enemy. So if you do miss, which is quite often with this thing, it is a complete waste. But as you can see there, once you shoot it off, it's got about 10 secondary explosions. And if you have two people shooting them, you can completely dominate a Titan and about 10 seconds so a lot of fun to use not as good as the next unlock but definitely really good until you get them and lastly we've got the mtms which is the multi-target missile system and i really like these what you can actually do is paint your target onto multiple enemies and then just release the fire button and you get a huge amount of rockets come out which are deadly accurate you can see i completely ruined this guy's shield just in one volley of these missiles so really really worth it in my opinion they're definitely the best overall ordnance unlock because of the damage and accuracy you can see here that i managed to get two volleys of missiles off in about 10 seconds so definitely really effective especially in combination with the triple threat grenade launcher the only thing is you can't hit infantry with them they're purely for hitting titans but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one